Welcome back everyone. Earlier in the series, we set up a simple project that has Redux as a dependency. In this video, let's continue with the same project and start implementing our Cake Shop application. Let's quickly revisit the diagram from the last video. Leaving aside the application, which we already have, there are three parts to implement. Actions, reducers, and the store. In this video, let's focus on implementing actions for our application. Now, what do we know about actions so far? We know that actions are the only way your application can interact with the store. Actions carry some information from your app to the Redux store. We also learned that actions are plain JavaScript objects. They must, however, have a type property that indicates the type of action being performed. The type property is typically defined as string constants. So let's go back to VS Code and create our action for the Cake Shop application. First, we define a string constant that indicates the type of the action. Const by cake is equal to the string by cake. Doing this will avoid spelling mistakes when reusing the action. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it is something that is followed in the community, so I recommend the same. Next, we define our action. Remember, an action is an object that has a type property. So an object and a property type whose value is the constant by cake. And that is it. You have just created your very first action in Redux. Now you're not restricted to just having the type property. Other than type, the structure of an action object is completely up to you. So you can have another property that is an object or a really simple property that is just a string. For our example, I will simply add a property called info and set it to first Redux action. All right, we now have our action in place. But with Redux, we also go the extra mile to implement what is known as an action creator. And as the name indicates, an action creator simply creates an action. In terms of code, an action creator is a function that returns an action. So to implement the action creator, I'm going to create a function by cake, which returns the action. Now you might be wondering, why do we do this? Well, I will answer that question a few videos down the line once we understand the complete flow of a Redux app. For now, I want you to take away two things from this video. An action is an object with a type property. An action creator is a function that returns an action. If we now go back to the diagram, we have implemented the first part. In the next video, let's implement the second part, which is a reducer.